I'm Matt Adlard, I'm a pastry chef, and today Canon have invited me to test out the new EOS M50 Mark II. I'm going to do loads of different bakes, we're going to put it through its paces, and I'm driving to the location now. Now I'm actually vlogging on the M50 Mark II right now, and usually my setup is a phone or a heavy clunky camera, and I can see already the detail and the quality is exactly what I'm going to need, and it's nimble, it's so easy to use. Right, we're at the location, guys, and you've got to look at this kitchen. It is amazing. We've got windows everywhere. We've got natural light, which can make the food look amazing. We're gonna get it set up, we're gonna get the camera ready, and we're gonna start baking. Today, we're making not one, not two, but three recipes, and we're gonna do all sorts of colors and techniques. We're gonna use vacuum forming, piping, and there's even gonna be some dry ice. But the first recipe, we're gonna be live streaming. So I'm shooting on my M50 Mark II. I'm gonna set it up in a presenter style on a tripod. I'm gonna to connect to the camera with an HDMI cable so to get a clean feed for my live stream. And to simplify even more, I can actually live stream directly to YouTube from the camera itself. The great thing about this setup is even if I didn't want to live stream, I could use this as a webcam. So when I am creating something for my audience, I want it to be Bold, I want it to be unique, I want it to have different textures and colors and flavors. And when I put all that effort, weeks, months into a design, I need to make sure that when I do show it off and I record a video or I take a picture, that it looks as good as it possibly can. And now I'm gonna finish off these desserts, which are filled up with a fresh mint chocolate mousse. So I've infused the cream with fresh mint, and then we top it with this edible chocolate soy, which is one of my favorite recipes. It's cast sugar in there, ground almonds, flour, butter. So I'm gonna add a little garnish on top so that you think it's actually a mint bar. You'll see in a second, it's very creative. We've just finished the first live stream. Have a look at those little bakes we made, those cute edible mint plant pots. The M50 Mark II was so easy to use. It was simple to set up the live stream. And now we're gonna move on to the second bake, which is a vanilla cheesecake that has a twist. You'll see. Now, if you follow me, you know I love a top-down shot. And this is gonna be so much easier with a flip screen. So let's get set up. I've got my top down shot ready to go and the M50 Mark II was so easy to set up. And one thing to mention is the M50 Mark II automatically recognizes when it's vertical, which means the files come into the edit vertically. Easy. Right, I'm done for the day and the final bake came out looking real good. Now, it got a little darker in here than I'd usually shoot in, but the M50 Mark II handled the low light so well. And tomorrow, we're gonna take some beautiful photographs. Right, it's day two and we are back at it. Today, we're gonna make a chocolate sphere with an amazing surprise. And yesterday, we tested all the video features of the M50 Mark II, but today, we're gonna to focus on photography. Now I'm not the most confident when it comes to changing settings and things like aperture, so the fact that I can go into the M50 Mark II and just select the food scene mode means it's all done for me. I don't need to worry about any of that. So I've been able to use a variety of lenses like the macro lens, which is gonna give me close-up details, and then I've been able to switch to the prime lens, which gives me that lovely shallow depth of field. But being able to switch those lenses quickly and easily means that I can vary all my shots and offer a whole variety of content. I've just finished the final bake in the dry ice. Looks amazing, the high-speed continuous shooting on the M50 Mark II was able to capture the exact moment I needed. It was perfect. Obviously, over the last couple of days, I've been taking different photos and videos, and if I want to transfer them to any device, I can send them from the camera to the image.canon cloud service. But if I want to transfer them to my phone, I can use the camera connector. Now, this is really important for me because often I'm shooting out and about or I might be collaborating with someone else. I need to be able to transfer those files over to my devices really quickly and upload them onto my social channels, and this makes it so much easier. 
I can actually set up the camera to automatically transfer my images to the Camera Connect app, which means I don't even need to transfer them later on. Now from using the M50 Mark II over the last couple of days, I've realized there's things that I wish I could have done with my content or never quite had the capability technologically to be able to do that I can now do with the M50 Mark II. Whether it's live streaming, whether it's uploading straight to my devices, which is gonna speed things up when it comes to the edit. There's so many little elements that are gonna save me time and also really enhance my content.